Hello people, in this video let us look at this mitomycin C. What is it? It is also uh, referred to as MMC, mitomycin C. It is an anti-metabolite, it is anti-mitotic, it is anti-fibroblastic. To simply say it is anti-cancer drug or antibiotic. That's it. So many antis to describe it. Anti-metabolite, anti-mitotic, anti-fibroblastic, anti-cancer, anti-biotic. It's a chemotoxic agent. Okay. Look at the mitomycin C, which they have shown in ophthalmic use. Here it is like an injection kind, right? And here you can see 0.2 mg it says. Okay. So first of all, let us see what it where it comes under. It comes under anti-cancer drugs, under cytotoxic agents, under antibiotics, you have mitomycin C. So did you understand the placement in pharmacology? This is where it will come in uh, pharmacology textbook, anti-cancer drug. Now, uh, this mitomycin C, according to pharmacology textbook, what it says, it's a highly toxic drug. You will use it only in resistant ca cases of uh, stomach cancer, cervix, colon, rectum, breast cancer, only in resistant uh, cancers. Okay. So, it is usually combined with 5-FU. 5-FU, everywhere you will read this 5-FU. Where What is this 5-FU? It is 5-fluorouracil. It is also an anti-metabolite. So, you will use uh, this mitomycin C along with this 5-fluorouracil and radiation uh, to treat all these resistant cancers. So, superficial bladder tumors are treated. Okay. Then, um, see, we are not here to learn cancer treatment. We are actually looking at the ophthalmic use. But anyways, let us see that it is actually an anti-cancer drug. And how it works, it generates free radicals, it damages DNA. Okay. Then, um, this is the dose for cancer treatment, but we are not looking at this. Cell uh, cycle specific it is, it is attacking the cell at the S phase that is written here. See, S phase, mitomycin C. So, this is the anti-cancer part of mitomycin C. But here we are to learn the ophthalmic use. So, it is an alkylating agent, it is derived from streptomyces. Uh, some streptomyces, okay, some bacteria, isn't it? Streptomyces. So, it is an antibiotic. It is derived from bacteria, okay. That is why it is antibiotic. It is a biotic, bio origin it has. So, streptomyces C. P. tosis. So, this is actually an actinomyces bacteria, right? So, it has some fungal properties. That is why probably they have this myces here, bacterial and fungal properties probably. So, you understood the source of this mitomycin C, isn't it? Then, it leads to cross-linking of DNA inhibition of RNA and protein synthesis. That's what we saw in the anti-cancer part also, right? Cross-linking of DNA, it will do in, uh, so it will not, what did they say here? It uh, cross-links DNA, that's what they said, it will damage DNA. So, here also they are saying cross-linking of DNA, it will do. Topical drugs, so in ophthalmic use, look at the dose, 0.2 to 0.4 mg per ml. This is the dose, you have to remember if you want, 0.2 to 0.4 mg per ml of mmc have been used for what and all surgeries for pterygium surgery right to operate on a pterygium to do glaucoma surgery they have used all this why so that they will not recurrence of pterygium and also scarring should not happen wound scarring should not happen okay so that is why they use all this but there are some adverse effects some scleral ulceration and iridocyclitis are also there as side effects they have mentioned Okay, let's look at the details. So, in con in glaucoma, we told you they will use in congenital glaucoma along that uh, 5-FU, they have used mitomycin C to do what? Trabaculectomy. Same thing in pupillary block, that is in secondary angle closure glaucoma also, trabaculectomy they are using. Same uh, angle closure, they again trabaculectomy with mitomycin C, etc. So, these are the uses in glaucoma. So, basically glaucoma only they are focusing on more. Look at this. This is glaucoma trabaculectomy. So, they are creating a path for the aqueous humor to drain into the subconjunctival space, right? So, this is trabaculectomy. So, here they are using these anti-metabolites like uh, mitomycin C and uh, uh, they can also use this 5-fluorouracil, okay? So, they will use it, why? For wound modulation, prevent scarring to avoid clogging of the new path, isn't it? So, here they are using mitomycin C. It is used at the time of surgery. So, how to use it also they are saying here. A sponge soaked in 
0.2 percent that is 2 mg in 10 ml solution is placed at the site of filtration between the scleral and the tenons capsule for 2 minutes followed by a thorough irrigation with balanced salt solution. So that's how they will do it. Okay. But now they are saying this collagen implant has replaced this mitomycin C. So by the time you read it something newer, newer has already come. So use of collagen implant um, uh, has been recommended as an alternative for mitomycin C. Or is this it's just an alternative if you don't have mitomycin C, isn't it? However, this one is more expensive they are saying. And this one, uh, collagen implant, uh, whatever uh, complications will come with MMC, you can avoid those complications in collagen implant. Let's move on. So, pterygium, yes, they also mentioned pterygium in the beginning, right? They said for pterygium uh, surgery, to remove the pterygium, uh, you can, uh, whenever you're doing the surgery, you also use mitomycin C so that there will be no scarring and there will be no recurrence of this uh, pterygium, okay? So, how can we prevent recurrence of surgical excision of pterygium? After surgical excision of pterygium, how do you prevent the recurrence? So basically, you will use preoperatively, you will use mitomycin C. Postoperatively also, you will use mitomycin C. Okay, so preoperatively, you will use mitomycin C and postoperatively also, you will use mitomycin C. And actually, how will they do the pterygium? They will use some amniotic membrane graft, right? surgical excision and then they will put amniotic membrane graft with mitomycin C, right? So, the, all that they will do to prevent recurrence of pterygium. Okay. To treat chemical burn, if there is pseudo pterygium, they will excise it and again they will use anti-mitotic drugs, example mitomycin C. Squamous cell carcinoma also they have mentioned. If uh, you are uh, doing surgery, topical chemotherapy, okay, okay, it is called measure, what is the surgical excision, yeah. After surgical excision, topical chemotherapy with mitomycin. Okay. So, this covers this topic guys, what we started off, mitomycin C. Let's take a recap. This is an anti-metabolite, anti-mitotic, anti-cancer drug. It's an antibiotic. Antibiotic means, uh, see, it comes with these actinomycin, actinomycin, mitomycin, similar names, isn't it? It's cytotoxic drug. Anti-cancer, it is used in resistant cancers of stomach. You can remember this. It is used in resistant cancers of stomach. Then what exactly it does? It cross-links DNA and it damages DNA. It is cell cycle specific. It is uh, acting at S phase if you want to know. Ophthalmic use, uh, basically, uh, from where did they get all this mitomycin? See, from a bacteria, uh, streptomyces, uh, then it, what does it do? It cross-links the DNA. You will use it in pterygium surgery, glaucoma surgery. You will also use it in uh, squamous cell carcinoma, surgical excision, right? Uh, glaucomas, they have mentioned all the types of glaucomas they are using in. So, um, trabaculectomy they are using, right? To create a new drainage path for the aqueous humor. They said how they will use it also. They will soak it in a sponge and place it at the site of filtration for two minutes, something like that. Newer, I mean, as a recommended alternative, they have collagen implant. Pterygium to prevent the scarring, uh, to prevent recurrence. They will use this preoperatively and postoperatively. Mitomycin C. Guess, uh, then uh, chemical burn also will have uh, pseudo pterygium. Okay. No, no, that's wrong statement. Chemical burn can lead to pseudo pterygium that we will excise it. That pseudo pterygium uh, again with the um, amniotic membrane facilitated with anti-mitotic drugs, example, mitomycin C, MMC. Squamous cell carcinoma, surgical excision, they will uh, reduce the recurrence by doing topical chemotherapy with mitomycin. So that's all for now in this video on mitomycin C. Bye-bye.